Oh, oh, oh. Do you guys think we have enough schools in the district for the amount of growth we have? Ooh. Guy, how about you go first? There is a correct answer to that. We have two technically. The, the, there's the one everybody knows about, and yes. then there's the one down uh, right across the street from the school district that yeah. is for you know, the, the troubled teens. But uh, I think we're probably going to need another one. But uh, before we go down that road, I would like to see, and this is probably going to get a lot of people mad at me, uh, maybe doing school all year and maybe doing. Uh, because I mean, the, the, the school is literally sitting there empty for what, three and a half months, four months a year? I'm thinking maybe uh, in the interim, because I mean, it takes quite a while to build a school. And we have tons of kids moving into this area. So I think we have to think a little bit outside of the box for a little bit until we can kind of get our, our feet underneath us. Um, you know, we can't just keep cramming kids into the same classrooms. So uh, obviously, this is not you know, something I'm just going to push through on my agenda, but it's something that we need to maybe think about, perhaps for the uh, short term at the very least. Logan, Dave, either one of you want to comment? I was just going to say, um, everybody is saying that the schools are running at capacity right now. Over um, capacity. Over capacity, right. Um, but at the same time, every year they project how many students are going to be coming to the school based on the growth, and every year they over project. Right, less students are actually enrolling than they project, and that's because we got a lot of people here homeschooling because those schools are broken. Yes. Yep. So um, there's going to have to be, uh, we're gonna have to figure this out as we go. The area has already grown more than we, so I think we need to like watch this school year. We're gonna have to see what we can do. I mean, they're already talking about that they're, uh, what is it called, the strategic planning session, they're talking about building a new high school, which is gonna cost, I don't know, God knows how many thousands of millions of dollars. Um, so, uh, not being privy to all that information, I'm open, I'm certainly open, I don't know, uh, is my answer. But, but we definitely need to keep an eye on how it goes this year with growth, what the projected numbers are gonna be for next year, uh, what we have in the budget, which hopefully a forensic audit will reveal some some loose ends that we can cut out, like bringing in Common Core uh, lecturers and spending hundreds of thousands of dollars for teacher and service days that we really don't need. Um, you know, I think that there's some some room to shuffle with this. So, anyway. Logan, you want to add anything? Just that the, you, we have a huge influx of students coming in, and then we have the problem of not enough teachers to go around. The end result is too many students to teach a ratio. So building a new school would only partially fix that. Okay, there's several aspects to the equation. Uh, I think the immediate issue right in front of us is we have to do, uh, we have to use the tools provided us better than we currently are. That will alleviate some of the problem. And then we have to look toward the future and say, okay, how do we do this? And then an interim plan of getting there. So I think it's one of those things of just focusing and analyzing and trying to do the best what we can do, again, what we have now, and then plan for the future. Thank you. Excellent. There's another. I was just going to tack on to the end of that. Um, we are going up against the teachers unions. We are going up against the Democrats. We are going up against big education. We are going up against the establishment. Voting for us is a form of revolution, in a way. However, with that being said, we've got kids in schools that have their schedules, they've got their routines, they've got how far along the system that they already are. We cannot go in there and totally disrupt this kid's education. It will have to be somewhat gradual because I don't, I'm not interested in damaging the kid's development. I don't think any of us are. So we're gonna, there's gonna be a period of getting in there, getting a feel for it, um, looking at different things that are kind of behind the scenes, I think, and exposing that for the parents to see, and, and being able to, uh, take pieces and move them. So I don't want anyone to think that voting for us is gonna mean that like the schools are gonna crumble, the teachers are gonna strike tomorrow, the kids aren't gonna be educated, they're gonna be at home for the next four months, we don't know what to do with them. It's not how it's, it's gonna be. This is gonna be a work in progress, but it is going to be a slow revolution uh, to give the, the parents back uh, their education system. Now, did I see a hand up over here? Yeah, sure, come on up. 